everybody, it's Kenny, and today I'd like to share with you my uh, TRX type uh, workout that I've been doing for the, about the past couple weeks. So um, ever since I got these bands, they've been great, been having a great time with them. So before we start, a couple things. Um, I just have mine set up where I threw the anchor over the door. So and and, um, and the thing they they recommend you put the anchor as close to the hinges as you can for more stability. But for purposes today. Um, I'm a little bit further over this way just because I have the curtain here and the curtain would interfere with that. So, But generally, you're going to want to have the, the ropes back as close to the hinges as you can be. And also, they recommend using this on a door that opens away from you. So this way, when you're pulling it, you pull the door this way and it won't open on you. But if, if that's all you have, you can still use that, which I do all the time. I use on my uh, closet door up in my bedroom. So just make sure the door is securely closed and it doesn't open because you don't want that swinging open on you. And a couple other things as far as setting up. What I like to do is um, set the ropes about, uh, to get things started, about right down where your arms are comfortably down by your side so you're not reaching down or reaching up. So I got the ropes set up right here so, my, so I'm comfortable that way. And then another couple, th another thing to do is um, before we get started, once you throw on your anchor over there, Give it a little tug to see, make sure it's ready, because sometimes there's a little slack and it might give a little bit as you get started. So that's once you get the rope set up where you like to be, I put little markers on here, like on, on each side. So this way, when, when you adjust them, you could kind of, you know, and see if there's anything going on here. Oh, and then once you do set them up, once they see me, what I like to do is come out and just eyeball it, make sure everything's even just to double check. Because sometimes when you're when you're here, you can't really tell. But, okay, if, if everything's all ready to go, then let's get things started. We're going to start with some rocking arms to warm things up. So just take the arms. Let's see. Um, and before we get started today, the magic number is going to be eight. So we're going to do eight reps of each uh, thing. Sometimes I forget. Sometimes I do ten because normally I'll do ten. But for demonstration purposes, we're just going to do eight of, on each side. So if I happen to forget and do ten, well, we'll do ten. So... We're going to get started by doing rocking arms, so take the arms out in front of you. And as you do these exercises, make sure you don't want to cave in like this, and you don't want to bend over from the waist, so, so don't cave the back in, and don't bend over. You want a nice, solid foundation, kind of like a plank. So as, as you come out, you're going to want to keep everything as straight as possible. So we're going to get started with some rocking arms. Just take the arms out in front of you, and lean it forward for one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now we're going to do one arm at a time. So starting with the right arm, hug the left arm in. Take the right arm out for one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, and eight. Switching sides, left arm out for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now we're going to do a shoulder press, so kind of like doing a push up, so just lean out. If you need more resistance, walk your feet back towards the door. If you want less, just simply walk out. So here we go. For Separate the arms. Lean forward for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Come back up. Let's work the triceps. So take the hands about face level. Just bend the elbows, lean into it, and rock and uh, rock back for one, two, three, four, seven, and eight. Now we're going to lunge, so take the arms in front of you, hug that right knee up to the chest. We're going to stay on the same side. Step it out for one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, and eight. Bring it back in. Hug that left knee in. Lunge forward for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now we're going to turn around, work some arms. Just turn around facing your door or your anchor, as we normally call it. We're going to uh, do narrows first, so hug the elbows in. Get your lean back and bring up for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Palms face the ground, wide rows, so pull it out for one, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Back in. Up next, we have, uh, we're going to do bicep curls. So we're going to palms face up, lean back, bend from the elbows for one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're going to do one at a time. So we're starting on the right side. Pull it up for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Switching to the left side for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now we're going to uh, do, we're going to curl it in and lift it up. So here's what palms up. We're going to squeeze it in, lift up, back, and extend. So here we go. Get your Curl, lift, back, extend. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And back. Nice job, everybody. Now we're going to do some squats, so we're going to stay right where we are. So we're going to get your lean, squat it down for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now we're going to do halfway up, halfway down, so get your, it's like you're sitting in a chair, hold it there. Lower down a little bit, back up, lift up a little, and down. Lower, middle, up, middle, down. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, now we're going to do uh, one-legged squats. So we're going to, uh, starting on the right leg, so lean back, bend that right knee, extend the left, lift it up for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight sides, go on the left side, bend the Lower down for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Nice job. So now we're going to, uh, this next one is a little bit complicated. It's actually one of my favorite exercises. It's uh, a one-legged squat to a warrior three. So if you're familiar with yoga classes, you know what warrior three is. So I'll show you how. So we're going to start on the right leg, 
I'll demonstrate the first one. So we're going to lower down, lift up, lean forward, finding that warrior three. All right, so once again, down, up, and forward, extend that back leg. Then on the last time, we're gonna hold that leg up and we're gonna pulse for 10. So I'll let you know when we get there. So, all right, let's get started. Get your lean, lower down, up, forward, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We're going to hold that leg up, hold it up, pulse for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, now I'm going to switch to the other side. So going over to that left leg, get your lean, extend the leg, up, forward, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Hold it up. Pause for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, then from here, we're going to do, uh, we're gonna limbo down and do some rows. So get your lean, walk it in, come up to a reverse tabletop. If you want to check out the view behind you, Go for that, and we're going to narrow a row for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now we're going to wide row for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Come back down, gaze back behind you, check out that view from hanging upside down, and then walk yourself back up slowly, and then lean it forward and swish it out. It should feel really, really good. Stretching out that back, those arms. All right, then bring it back up. We got some more, a little bit more to do here. We're gonna do, uh, we're going to do a little bit more squatting here. We're going to do a, a regular squat with the narrow row, and then a regular squat with the rod row at the top. So here's how it's going to go. We're going to start, we're going to go down, up, then row in for the narrow rows, then down, up, and in for the wide rows. So, all right, let's get started. We're going to do all the eight narrow and then eight wide. So here we go. Get that lean, take it down, up, row, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now we're going to do wide rows, palms face down, lower down, up, out, and in. Two, Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Down, up, back, and there we go. Nice job, everybody. So now we're going to uh, keep the things where they are, turn around. This time we're going to put our forms. And the loops, not the handles, but the loops. So we're gonna put the arms there and keep the elbows bent. And we're going to uh, lean forward as much as you'd like to be for your resistance. Open up, close, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, and eight. Bring the arms back together. Keep the elbows bent. We're going to take the arms forward for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now we're going to do one at a time. So we're going to stay with the right side. So take the right arm out for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Bring it back. Left arm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Bring it back down. Now we're going to do Superman squat. So here's how this is going to look. Bring the arms back together. We're going to squat it down as low as you can. Then lunge it out for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One more exercise with this. So once again, bend the elbows and we're going to make circles. So it doesn't matter which direction you're going to go. We're going to go both directions. So start from here and go to the circle for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Bring it back. Opposite direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Bring it back around. Now that we're going to turn around, we're going to work on a little bit of bridge. So what we're going to do now is uh, lower the handles down. So just uh, get mine set to where they need to be here. So for these exercises, you're going to want the, uh, the lower loops, not the handles, to be right about your mid-calf. So just kind of lower that down. And then once again, when you find, find out the, what, whatever works for you, you can mark it on here. And once you get that set, it also helps to take it, walk it out and eyeball it this way just to make sure everything's even. So, okay, once you got that all set, we're going to do our bridges. So make our way down to the ground. Place your feet in the low loops up to your ankles. And then we're going to lift the hips. We'll actually walk out a little bit further. Lift the hips up. We're going to keep the hips lifted the whole time. So keep them up and squeeze the knees in for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Take both legs long and we're going to do just one leg at a time. So starting with the right leg, pull it in for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Bring it back. Left leg. One, two, three, five, seven, and eight. Now we're going to take the legs long and we're going to open, close, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Close it up. Now keeping the hips lifted as well, like I said, the whole time, bring the soles of the feet to touch. So we let the knees fall open wide. So in yoga, you would know this is Sukta Vata Konasana, or it's sometimes called frog pose. So keep the legs this way, keep the soles touch, take it out, bring it back, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Bring it back down. It's time you get to lower it out a little bit. Now we're going to kick the one 
the loop. And keeping the left foot in there, so take the right leg down, lift those hips, take the right leg even with the left, kick the right leg up for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Lower down, switch out the feet, put the right foot in a loop, keep the left foot out, lift up with the left leg, take it even with the right, kick it up for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Lower down, we're gonna put both feet back in the loops, one more exercise down here on the ground. I'm going to do reverse mountain climbers. So we're just going to sit up here, lift those hips, and just run it out for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, lower down. That, but that's just because those are kind of fun to do. So. see what we got going on here. I can't read my writing here. That's nothing new. Just... Okay, we're going to uh, turn around. We're facing here. Hey, it's live. That's, that's what happens. So make sure you're far enough away from the wall so you don't headbutt the wall. I'm going to start with uh, lift the right. I'll, I'll show you the motion first before we start doing it. What we're going to do is we're going to hug the knee in, extend it out, lower down, and then back up. So, okay, here we go. Starting on the left side, hug the knee in, back, up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Hold the last one up and pulse for ten, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, four down, switch side, the end, take it back, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, hold it up and pulse for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Now we're going to back it up a little bit. And just hold 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one. You can take it back a little bit, stretch it out for a modified child's pose. Swish out those arms a little bit. And spring it back up. More work to do here, so back to our plank. Open, close, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Nice job, everybody. Those are kind of tough to do. So we have uh, one more down here. So back it up. This is kind of like those, you see those infomercials they used to have for those ab wheels. So make sure you're backed up far enough. So what we're going to do is so keep the arms in loops. Take it forward. Back. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, and eight. All right, there we go. Now we're going to uh, turn around. We've got some interesting stuff to do here. A little bit of core work now. So turn around. We're going to uh, place the feet in the loops. Bottom loops once again. to uh, take the arms long at the sides, 
bridge it up, and for some reason these are called 100 pump. I don't know if you actually do 100 of them, but we're going to go for a 10 count, so take the arms up. 10, 9, whoops, get my balance there, flutter for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, lower down, it's kind of tough to hold the balance, you kind of want to switch from side to side, so that's kind of why I lost it there, alright, then we're going to uh, scoot out a little bit from the wall, Keep the hands in loops this time. We're going to roll back, lift the hips, lower back and down. So, all right, let's do that. Here we go. Roll back, up, back, down. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven and eight. All right, now then another yoga reference. We're going to do a boat pose. So we're going to sit up, take the arms out like a T, lift the feet up for your boat pose, lower down for low boat, Just lift down three, four, five. Six, seven, and eight. Lower down. Now we got a little bit more of a groundwork to do here, so we're gonna do. People love it. Some people hate it, but you gotta do it. So here we go. So take one foot in the loop. Take the other foot and flip it over. Now we're going to do our starting off with our high plank. So just lift up for your high plank, your high push-up position. What we're going to do is we're going to squeeze the knees in. So hug it in for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now we're going to go both knees to side to side. So starting with the left, center, then the right. So go bring it over to the left for one. Right, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Nice job, everybody. Take a little break. Get your breath while I see what's up coming next. Okay, it's fine, our we're going to open and close the legs, so open, close, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now we're going to open, close, and throw in a pike, so here's how it's going to look. We're going to take the legs up, take an open, close, pike it up, and then down. So, alright everybody, you ready for that? So find your plank. Open, close, pike, down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ten. Well, it looks like we're doing ten. I was having a good time doing that. Sorry about that. So if you want to do eight, that's okay. If you want to do 10, that's great too. Got a bonus there, so won't cost you anything extra. All right, a couple more exercises down here. We're going to uh, find that high plank, and we're going to run it out for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Lower down. One more exercise. Well, actually, one more. Uh, of these, and we can do some side planks. So we're going to, uh, like when you were a little kid, you used to have wheelbarrow races. So we're going to do eight of those just for fun. So here we go. Get your plank. Run it out for one, two, three, four, five.
seven, and eight. All right, good job, everybody. Now we're gonna do uh, some side planking. So let's turn to our sides. Once again, feet are in the loops. You're gonna have your top leg in front. So we're gonna do a, a side plank on our elbows. So come down your elbow, we lift up here, side plank, and we're gonna do hip dips. So we're just gonna lower the hip down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, hold it up, and up, bring it down for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, lower down, we're going to switch sides, so I'll have my back to you, so I'll trust that you're going to do these okay, so come on to your elbow, lift those hips up, keep the right hand on the ground, we're going to do hip dips, so lower down for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, hold it up, lift that right hand up, bring it down for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, lower down, break, bring those arms back, relax the shoulders, Pause for a few, few deep breaths. And let's make our way back up. One more side planking on each side. Then I promise we're going to stand it back up. So let's come to our side plank with our right elbow down. And we're going to do a crunch twist on each side. So I'll show you how this is going to look first. So we're going to lift the hips, crunch the knees in, and twist. So here we go. Ready? Crunch. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Whoops, looks like we're doing ten. All right, now we're going to switch sides. It's our last exercise on the ground. Let's make it our best one. All right, lift those hips up. Crunch it in for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, now we're down on the ground. Time to get up for one more series. So come out of those loops, stand it back up. I'm going to grab a drink of water real quick. You can too if you like. All right, so let's raise those ropes back up to where we started. So hopefully, guys, have your ropes marked. If not, you'll figure it out as you get there. Once again, once you get there, walk it out. Make sure they're even. Looks pretty good to me. At least mine do. All right, so now we're going to uh, grab one handle with both hands. Standing sideways. Keep the Put the handle on your head. We're going to do some side bend so just bend and back two three four five six seven eight nine and ten well i guess we're doing ten of these <laughs> all right turn around the other side lean out for one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. Going back, we're going to do, uh, I'm not sure what these are called, but it's kind of like you squat and you reach back. So here's how we're going to do it. We're going to hold one hand in the, in the handle. We're going to squat it down, reach back. And lift up. So, all right, here we go. Bring it back, down, 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Bring it back down. Now we're going to switch sides. So lean back. For one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, let's see what we got coming up next. We're going to do TikTok, so take your left hand in your handle. So here's how this one look. We're going to lean in. Make sure you got enough room to lean in towards your anger. Lean it in. We're going to squat it down and out. So that's our and the last one, we're going to hold in and pulse for 10. So, in, down, out, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Hold it in. Lift that leg and pulse for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Switch sides. Other hand goes in the rope. Find that lean in. Down. Out. Two. Three. for 10, 9, 8, 7, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Exercises, and then we're done. So these are kind of fun to do. What we're going to do is, um, we're going to start on, uh, on the right side. So we're going to stay on the same side for 8. So here's how this one will look. We're going to take left arm down. It's kind of like an alligator. So we're going to do eight of those. So get your lean and go for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now we're going to switch sides. So alligators on the other side. So take it up for one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right. Now we're going to do some letters, and then we're going to be done. I promise. So we're going to start with the letter I. So take both hands in. Untwist the ropes if they're twisted like mine are. I'm kind of twisted anyway. <laughs> so here we go. Take both arms. Lift it up for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now we're going to do either a Y or a V, whatever you prefer. So take the arms up, lift it up to one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, and eight. Bring it back down. Now we're going to do T's. So we're going to take the arms, palms face towards each other. Take it out for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Bring it back. Nice job, everybody. Yeah, too bad we can't spell out YMCA, huh? But I just don't know how we could do an A or an M. So we could do a Y and 
I don't know, that's about it. So, all right, anyway, uh, well, just another, like, fun little thing. We're going to combine two letters together because one of my uh, favorite bands is Y&T. So we're going to do some Y&Ts and honor those guys. So here we go. Take it back. Take a Y. Back. T. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, and eight. All right, now we are just about done. So take those arms down, swish it out, stretch it out. Feels really, really good now. <clears throat> Stand back up, turn around, take the arms and the ropes and the handles, and lean it forward, stretching it all out. A couple deep breaths. <clears throat> then stretch one arm at a time. So hug that left elbow in, take that, stretch it over to your left side, nice side body stretch. Back to center, switch it up, do the left side, stretch over. Bring it back one more time, stretch over. Right arm stretches over. Back to center. <clears throat> Left arm stretches. Then walk yourself out and take your arms behind you, holding onto the rope. So you can either do palms up or palms down. For me, it seems better if I have hands up. And then just gently fold forward, stretch everything out. Allow everything to hang heavy. Maybe shake that head, yes or no. Sway those hips side to side if that feels good. And slightly bend the knees. <clears throat> Release those handles. Stand up nice and tall. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale forward fold. Carefully bend the knees. Slowly stand all the way back up. And with that, we are finished for the day. So thank you all for joining me, for playing along in my shenanigans and our little brief TRX type workouts. So hopefully you guys get something out of it. If you have any questions, always feel free to ask me, of course. If you have any ideas, I'm always looking for extra input. So some of you people, um, when, I, when I said that I was getting these ropes, some of you also said that you had these. Some of my Facebook friends said you had the ropes. Some of them said you were going to get the ropes. So I figured this will give you guys something to do. So if you're stuck for workouts or whatever. And as I said, if you guys come up with anything, send it my way. I'm always looking for new ideas. So hopefully I'll see you guys again very soon. Until then, take care and have a great day. Thanks, everybody.